Howdy folks, Dr. Jeff Camarda. It is uh, Tuesday, April 21st with your market update. Uh, to begin with, the market continues to uh, to move lower, softer. I won't use the words plunge or sell off, you know, uh, because I'm not a media pundit, but uh, it certainly has been weaker uh, the past couple of days uh, associated with, uh, with uh, near-term oil going negative. And I think that's really just indicative of the fact that, you know, the, the world economic picture bleak and getting bleaker as the data continue to print um, is uh, really not fully appreciated, probably not even marginally appreciated uh, by current levels of stock and equities prices. Um, they were just talking today about you know, the possibility that airlines may be allowed to fail. And can you imagine a modern world without you know, regular airline service across the country and across the, across the world? These are really you know, very uh, fundamental, transformative, and, and, and uh, um, uh, uh, an unpleasant uh, uh, changes that are occurring in the economy with really a very unpredictable trajectory. Uh, from an investment standpoint, just wanted to update you. Uh, the first uh, is that we have and we're happy to be substantially in cash uh, for our um, uh, um, our client portfolios. Um, and just uh, kind of as a uh, um, uh, an overall view um, that we've gone to significant cash positions in, across the AIMS uh, portfolios and also in CSER. Um, we're looking um, as... Uh, as uh, levels um, get lower, in our opinion, uh, to adopt more of a core and satellite approach when it looks like it makes sense and things have gotten lower as we expect them to, to get back in to favor, of course, healthcare, so-called uh, consumer defensive or consumer staples, um, technology stocks, communications, and, uh, and utilities. Um, and again, we are looking at uh, um, uh, possibly going to more cash, but we have very large cash, high percentage of cash positions across the portfolio, so we're comfortable here. Uh, and we'll just see how the market reacts as more data come out now when we're in earnings season and companies report. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is uh, as we move forward, you know, preserving capital and, and trying to, um, to, to make money in this unpleasant environment is, is, is the primary um, uh, consideration in portfolio decisions. Uh, taxes is, is always important, but in our view, less important now. Um, but uh, so we may have the opportunity uh, to make some shorter term uh, uh, trades, uh, hopefully the profit thereby, uh, which would be taxed at, at the short term capital rank, gains or the ordinary income rate. So if, if this is something that you are opposed to, Camarda clients, please let your PWA know. You know, in my view, it's better to make some money, even if you pay tax on it, you still keep most of it, right? But if uh, you have a different view, um, then these are for taxable accounts, obviously on IRAs or Roths or uh, uh, 401ks and so forth. Uh, please let your PWA know that uh, you'd, you'd like um, maybe to, to freeze accounts from a tax profit position. Um, and that's, uh, I think that's, that's pretty much it for today. We'll, uh, we'll see what, uh, what news uh, uh, tomorrow brings and, and hopefully give you an update probably midday uh, as we continue through this, this softening and maybe uh, uh, this, this beginning of, uh, of uh, a new down leg in, uh, in, this, uh, in this bear market. Hopefully not, but uh, that's kind of where we think we're going and we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, this is Jeff Camarda. Be safe, be happy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.